Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. And welcome to Flat Acre Farms Airsoft. Thank you to Tang from Flat Acres here for inviting us out for a behind the scenes look at Flat Acre Farms. Tang, good morning. Good morning. So, uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you do here at Flat Acres? Uh, more specifically, I'm with Fox Airsoft, Fox. Um, one of the marketing managers there, uh, which also covers Flat Acres Farm here that we run our airsoft games out of. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be the guy that's going to handle a lot of like the promotional giveaways right. and uh, and maybe the events that happened like last week, like your big summer kickoff events. Exactly. Okay. So mm -hmm. to get a lot of the people involved in the community and get out and playing and stuff like that. That's right. Uh, well, how did you uh, get involved with uh, Fox Airsoft? Uh, Just a quick little rundown. Long story short, uh, I used to work on the distribution side. Okay. And the guys at Fox were my customers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, that's easy. So fantastic, well, I think these guys are getting set up in the shop here, so um, let's take everybody out there and bring them over here and give them a, a look at the rental shop. What do Absolutely. you think? Absolutely. Sweet, let's go. Welcome to the rental shop, the heart of the field. Uh, this is where players are gonna come, uh, like myself, and uh, annoy the refs all day and just talk to them about stuff that I can never hope to buy. Uh, lots of false hope when I talk to these guys, but they're actually getting prepared for the day, uh, maybe uh, taking care of the fleet, making sure that all the rental gear is ready and out, um, and what else? That's all I got. What else are you guys doing this morning? Well, we're just getting set up for the day, and uh, this is kind of our hub of operations, so we're just kind of planning out the day, all the game modes, and making sure that all the rentals are going to be good to go, and uh, yeah, just making sure everyone's going to have a good time out here today. Cool. Um, do you guys, are there any like issues that you guys usually can take care of like in the morning or do issues just kind of happen when players get a little nuts on the field? Um, it's definitely not something we can really plan it. For, well, we can definitely try to um, help with some of that stuff earlier in the day, but um, there's not a lot that we can prepare for as far as uh, what might happen on the field. So we just kind of, as problems pop up, if they do, then we just address them on the spot. And uh, yeah, but as far as um, preparing for um, any problems that might happen on the technical end with rentals, we just make sure that we just have everything prepared and good to go. Oh. Um, how, uh, how many game modes do you guys usually run throughout the day? We usually run about 10 or so. We'll have about seven every day. Usually start them right around on the hour, get them going for about 30 to 45 minutes, give them a little break in between. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, uh, we'll let you guys get back to work and uh, we're going to mosey on around and Tang, if you want to walk us around and show us anything, if there's anything uh, you'd like us to see, we can go for it. Absolutely. Let's go. Cool.
today is to check in. Yes. So this is our waiver system. We utilize the iPad. Which I have been not. here before. You punch in your phone number and it'll recall your information. Probably want to blur that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if it's your first time, you'll fill out the waiver from scratch. But otherwise, yeah. after that. And right here, continue is Roy Sandin. Real. Yep. Super easy process. Points. Continue. Yep. Use yeah. number two. Yep. Continue with existing information. Check if you uh, have rewards. We always provide rewards for people that come back yeah. frequently. It says I need one more point for a free day pass. So. Okay, so your next visit will be free. So, oh, hey, that's awesome. So you're checked in and ready to go, and then you will pay Drake over here, and yes. then get your wristbands. Yes, you and that's we've already gone through that process here, so and I believe this gentleman here has to get in on it, so I'll move out of the way. Sweet, sweet. I can get you out of here, man. Really? Yep. I don't even have everything. I still have to get my gloves. So, we're up at Chrono today. How's it going? Certainly can't complain. It's Certainly can't well. complain, yeah. no? It's just a little slow right now, but there you go. We'll speed it's up. probably my fault, not anyone else's. Oh, it's ours. <laughs> cool. We'll do that. So, well, oh, one yeah. thing we haven't asked. Yeah. What are you making sure these guys adhere to while they're out here on the field? So, we're just making sure that they adhere to our jewel limits. Um, these guys are a little interesting case because they're using two different rigs on their HPA engines. So same gun running as DMR and um, rifleman limits. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, so you can just swap out for so, exactly. close range and long range instead of having to adjust it in between yeah. fields. Nice. So, Actually, that's not a bad idea. As long as their tanks are locked to a certain whatever, um, I put both tags on their guns as long as they comply to the higher limit as long as they show us which tank they're running it's fine for whatever no absolutely so what are your jewel limits for uh, rifleman and uh, dmr and our rifleman limit is 1.5 joules so okay that's so 400 with a point two yeah basically. 400 with a point two yeah and then our dmr limit is two joules with a point three two dmr is so. two joules with a point three two okay so it's roughly yeah it's 460 ish with a okay. 20 Cool. So this is the and first tag. you guys also run snipers here as well. Yes, that limit is three joules, but it has to be a bolt action. But it has to be a bolt action. Three joules. Damn. Cranking out some heat off of those things for sure. <laughs> yep. That's nuts, man. Well, awesome. Cool. So, Are you guys excited to play? Yeah. Everybody say, no, come on, excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. Make noise. Yeah. It's nine in the morning. <laughs> it's nine in the morning. It's the Dude, camera, my day so starts at five, scared. man. <laughs> Cool guys, well thank you so much for uh, breaking uh, that down so for us. Uh, I actually have to go get my stuff so I can chrono. I don't even have any of my stuff out of the car yet. Hey, we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> oh man. So Quick same thing, pink's going to be your lower rack. Gotcha. Welcome to the friendship table, or staging area as I like to call it. And Tang here is going to be our uh, staging buddy today, and he has brought some of his wonderful lovelies out. Tang, what you got going on, man? Uh, today I'm doing the Vietnam War theme. So I have, that's kind of like a side thing of mine, doing some period correct year. Got the old pig over here. I got some M16A1s, there 40 you mags and stuff like that. Uh, you know, really noisy, heavy gear, <laughs> not the most, uh, High speed stuff, but I enjoy it. No, I well, it's off about you know living out uh, whatever you can dream of. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, and I think that that's why I like a lot of the more uh, the more unique stuff in airsoft, just because I'll, I'll get to play with stuff in airsoft that I, I probably won't necessarily get to play with in real life. You know, it might not even be feasible to do. Well, yeah, and that's the other thing too. You know, um, that's awesome, man. So you're gonna be uh, working part of the day, playing part of the day. Yeah, I'm gonna do what you guys. Cool. Basically, we're just gonna go by the numbers, read these out loud as a group, so that we know that everyone's got them, you know, ingrained in their head for the day. Safety rules, all right. Safety's paramount out here. Make sure that we're safe, okay? So, let's start with number one. You guys know how a BB gun works, how this gun works. Usually when you take the mag out, there's still BB inside of it, right? So dry firing and staging with the BB inside of it could cause somebody to get shot in the face, all right? We don't want that to happen. We don't want a BB to be flung inside the staging area in any way, shape, or form. So make sure that you guys utilize the clearing barrels, the white barrels. They're outside of every entry and exit out of our field, all right? Um, prior to dropping your mag, just shoot a couple rounds in that thing so that we know that the uh, barrels are okay. uh, Don't have any magazines in your guns in staging. That's pistols as well, all right? Um, I know sniper rifles are kind of like a particular thing too. Just make sure that mag's out, all right? No exceptions, okay? Do not dry fire. Dry firing is a very audible, noticeable sound for us. We'll probably seek you out, warn you once, but the second time, we're gonna have to eject you from the field, okay? So just do not dry fire, do not have a magazine in, and just be safe. Treat the gun like it's loaded at all times, like it's a dangerous weapon, all right? All right, let's go with number, what are we on? Seven. 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 Um, food. We have food! <laughs> yep, we have local uh, businesses here with food trucks every weekend. Or at least it's planned for the rest of summer. We have them lined up uh, for the next couple months, so you get to try all the local flavors. That's <laughs> awesome. You guys are by a fellow named Tim. Cool. Yeah, I, uh, I, I do remember seeing that on social media. Oh, one of the things, guys, if you want to know what your local fields are up to, the best way to know that, follow them on their social medias. I follow every field in the area, and that's part of the reason why I kind of know what their new special events are, when they're doing them. I, I did hear about the food truck, but I forgot about it uh, 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 up until just now. But if you really want to see some of the updates they're doing, and and talk to them and get in touch with them the best thing to do is i think reach out on social media right yeah if they can't come down in person yeah or always just give us a ring or shoot us an email or something okay. try to answer uh you know in a timely manner but sometimes we get uh, get swamped <laughs> all right so here at flat acres farm or fat for short we have uh three fields here um, to my side here is a CQB field. Uh, we allow only um, rifle tag guns to be used up close and semi-auto only. Uh, obviously it's made of uh, hay bale, so you can get really up close and personal. Our next field is the urban field, which is a mixture of structures and a lot of obstacles here. Um, this is our medium-sized field where you'll get a good mix of range. And this is my personal favorite field, by the way. Uh -huh. I love the layout of this. I just I want to throw that out there while you're talking about it. I love this field. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So there's a good mixture of uh, you know things you can do here. Um, the structures were a recent addition. We just got approved for those, so we're gradually adding more and more, more over time. Our plan is to build like pretty much an urban. I mean, all oh, these buildings lived. here have added so much. It's mm -hmm. it's crazy. I, and watching you guys update on your Facebooks and your Instagrams, it's, just, it's amazing to see what you guys are doing out here. Yeah, and we're only adding some more, so that's awesome. it's only going to get more dense as we get uh, further along. Oh, that's so cool. So, uh -huh. um, what uh, what's the last field you guys had? You got three fields. large fields, so that's more the wooded area. So if you want to go uh, lead the way, Roy. Yeah, come on out.
So, I mean, part of the reason I wanted to get in touch with right. you and just to community outreach, I guess, is to, you know, tell people we listen to your feedback and explain some of the reasons why things are the way they are here. Right. Um, for example, the large field is on a floodplain. And okay. the county didn't like that we had structures on here previously. Even though they were movable? Right. Really? So we had to fight with them, get like new definitions put up for the structures, oh. see what we can get by with. So, okay. So, and for the most part, it looks like pretty much, you know, your sandbag. Yeah, unfortunately the gone. structures won't come back. No, but, and that's totally fine. I mean, you guys have to work with what you have to work with. So this is what we're working with is we made little bunkers here and bring some stuff, but it can't be like a permanent feature, unfortunately. No, so that would be the biggest change. My favorite spot on this field. What do you think, Tang? A yeah, little bit of sure. iced tea right here, you know, keep a lid on it, no BBs getting it. It's <laughs> it's a pretty difficult position to defend, I'll tell oh, you that. Oh my god, it is. I've been in here and it just when people know you're here, they don't they don't let up at all. <laughs> they really do just try to you you get in here and all of a sudden you just hear somebody go, Welcome to the Thunderdome. And you're like, oh <laughs> it's just enough for a uh, average size, you know, adult to crash down and still get yeah. some good position. Yeah, no, and it's and it does have and the thing is, is you've got a great line of sight out to the enemies, but you also have a great line of sight in here as well. Once that brush gets thicker though, you yeah. know, they'll, it'll present some challenges in its own. So, that's awesome. So, we do build a lot of it ourselves. Um, some of the stuff we help get help with the owner of the farm itself. Uh, his name's Mike, he's a great gentleman that allows us to run these games. Mm -hmm. So, in case people don't know, uh, Flat Acres Farm is not owned by Fox Airsoft. We just host our games here okay. in collaboration with Farm. So, you know, it's very important for us to maintain a high professional standard and keep it so that we can keep this thing going for a long time. No, oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Sweet. Well, uh, let's get back out there and see if we got some players. Yeah, for sure. Paper, scissors for the hammock. Okay. Come on, it's two. Yeah! I get the hammock! <laughs> Big Red, thank you so much for helping out, man. No problem, man. Anytime. It was very interesting trying to keep you guys in frame and follow you and be ahead of you all at the same time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a good day. Oh, man. It was a fun day. The games were fun, too. I know we didn't get to play a lot. We played, I played three games. <laughs> I played four? I think I played like one and a half. <laughs> I think I played one and a half games today, but that's all right, man. I got to test out uh, Nightmare, but man, what, a, what just an awesome, you know. It was a fun day. Really fun yeah. Day. <laughs> yeah, and I, you know that. Yeah, for not playing, like it was a really fun day. Just being able to uh, uh, to pick the brains of some people and to just show off the field a little bit, and, you know, see what they have to offer. And I, I don't know, man. It was a. I just loved it. It was great. It was, like, it was good and got a lot of good responses from the players here. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. That was that was a really gratifying part. So, uh, well, thank you guys so much uh, for checking out this FAF special. Uh, the next special on my channel is actually going to be a Big Red special. 
Uh, we're gonna be talking BBs, and uh, we have to get that set up. We do. Okay. We do. Stay tuned. <laughs> Take it easy.